So as you can see, I'm knee-deep in research and development on building a better oxalic acid vaporizer. Uh, I couldn't afford the $500 model, so I bought the $200 model, and it fell apart the first time I used it. So I rebuilt that. I, used, I learned quite a bit when I rebuilt it. Uh, I rebuilt the aluminum pot with stainless steel. I've got stainless steel pipe over here that uh, I've had for years. I've got a huge stack of it and I bought out of dairy for our honey equipment. And then the inch and a quarter copper pipe. I helped somebody take apart a deck and all the railing was built out of that copper pipe. So I got a huge stack of that. But I've turned out to like inch and a half copper pipe the best, and that's what the $500 model uses. I like using a heat sink, and anyway, I've been working with different solders. 15% uh, silver solder works really well for soldering copper on copper. Uh, it didn't work so well with steel and copper. It couldn't really get it to stick to the steel, although it seems tight. I just I don't have faith in it. So I've ordered some 56% silver solder, which uh, all the books and videos I've read said that'll do the trick. We'll see. Uh, anyway, I've got a nice lathe and I've got a nice CNC mill. I've been making some nice Teflon caps. And I can tell you the reason that those are so expensive is because the raw material is pretty expensive. Uh, anyway, working with all different kind of things to try to find out what is best. Uh, I've working on a few cook pots here and uh, so far the copper on copper has been best as far as the soldering goes uh, so far I like this model best because uh, you get a good tight thing there and uh, keep the pipe heated up keep it from plugging Got a nice heat sink built into that, which uh, would be about the same on any of the models. This one, you can drill and tap and put the temperature probe in here. I haven't figured out just where I'm going to put the temperature probe on this one yet. This was uh, the stainless steel pipe that I used to rebuild the one that fell apart on me. And it's got a nice uh, aluminum heat sink and it's drilled and tapped for the temperature probe. So well, I'm going to incorporate some of those into my design and see if I can come up with a much better oxalic acid vaporizer for less money than the expensive one.